Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So here we are, re about ready for another season. Still got the off season and stuff to do, but we pretty much have the roster, which is the good thing. We do have some extensions still to, uh, to pull off, essentially, but we gotta kinda wait on some of these guys. The prices that they're asking for right now are just a bit too high. Uh, Dickinson as well. Yeah, especially if I wanted him longer term. Wait a sec. Didn't I offer Dickinson something? I know we offered Quincy. I thought... Maybe that was Quincy. <laughs> If I offer him like a six year or something like that, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, I've already gone ahead and tried to get a new AHL goalie coach. That's the only thing we have missing. Uh, when it comes to our roster, like I said, we're we're pretty we're pretty set with the right amount of players and such. So I I don't think we're making a huge trade in the off season. We may reassess as the season goes, particularly at the deadline. We know we're gonna load up again at the deadline. We're gonna see if there's Wow, we got another B-minus goalie coach. We're going to see if there's anything that we need maybe in the midseason. All right, so Quincy extended. Outlaw, not for three and a four. Come on now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't think Outlaw's grown well or anything like that, but a three and a four. Pretty sure he's in his high 70s now with top six potential, like... All right, that looks like it was it for extensions. Yeah, Pelika, I don't think his is now nah, his is not going to change until we hit the uh, the reset thing. Man, I could have swore I offered Dickinson something. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, you know what? This is quite high for him at eighty six. Yeah, probably. I don't think I did so. Right, you can run into that glitch though. Like if you, if you make extensions, like save and exit. Um, some, t I've had it happen in the past where like the extensions that you offered all of a sudden aren't there anymore, but I don't think we hit it. So Quincy is going to be signed for a six point six. Yeah, that's right. 6.6 .6 or six years. He's lined up with Varlamov. We are in very, very good shape. Contract wise, this is incredible. We don't have anyone at 10 mil yet. And you know, that's caps at a hundred and that would, you know, be 10%. You, you'd give that to one of your key players for sure, but we haven't even had to do that yet. Doshtal likely going to be leaving, but we need someone to jump in the backup. I'm going to see who, like, I'm, I'm, Vashinov needs to jump. I know he's only low starter and such, but he started at such high overall. We were really hoping to get him into that backup role. He needs to make a jump. Otherwise, yeah, not too sure. Not too sure what's going to happen with him. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this off season. We still have, yeah, that's right. Ooh, yeah, we had Lindstein. Got to make a decision on Lindstein. I don't have to do it now. Well, Barnaby's got to be in the NHL. Hundred percent. Skill, yes, that's right. Skilly going with him doesn't make a ton of sense. They're both DFDs. You could do Kaltiainen on his offhand, but if I'm going with someone on the offhand, I'd rather be Lindstein. He just keeps wanting a lot of money. That's going to kind of hamper us, but for this season, this could be the last year we use Lindstein. This season, it won't really matter. Because we're not going to run into cap issues. Big trades that we make... May even have, yeah, know, it, yeah, we could include Lindsay in, the, in, in it if we need to free up cap. So I'm just gonna sign him for a year, <laughs> pretty much whatever the heck he wants. Five and a half, fine. We'll still have five million to play with for this year. He'll be pretty much gone after this, but let's again try to keep the roster as stacked as possible and uh, hope for the best. So yeah, that'll be just fine. Because, again, we don't need anything from free agency. 
All right. So let's see if he signs that contract. And we'll pretty much know what our team's looking like. There we are. All right. So we got it set. Uh, yeah, we got everything uh, sorted out. Got all the coaches. We have a pretty sick coaching staff now. All A pluses, B minus goalie coach. A plus, A, A minus, B minus goalie coach. <laughs> Let's get back to being that AHL dynasty, huh? No. All right, so that takes care of that. We're going to sim up now. I'll look at the captain situation and obviously take care of the lines. See you guys in a bit. So I guess Vegas is back to buying. <laughs> they were, like, selling for a bit and, like, looked like rebuilding that early pick. And they just bought Boakfist and Noah Gregor for two seconds. <laughs> just Vegas things. Okay, we have a different look. On this team now, first line though, Shurikov, Thomas, and Kairou. Damn right he's staying up there. <laughs> he keeps gaining and losing that zone ability. But uh, he's a first liner. He's a first liner. We need to, pop, we need to play maker with Shurikov, basically. Uh, second line, Quincy, Misa, and Varlamov now. I did put double sniper with Misa here. So we'll see. That does mean Darling gets forced back onto the third line. It's a, it was a really tough call. But the way Misa dishes, and the way he always is just a pure playmaker pretty much every single year. I mean, he had 20 goals last season, but... Like, he is one of the more pure playmakers on this team, I believe. Eh, Kairou. He and Kairou are quite close, honestly. But, uh, yeah, he, he was the best one to center two snipers. And then third line of Twolmanen, who is, again, that playmaker. We're going to throw him in there again with Bolduke and now Darling, who's on the one time. Janel, Dvorsky, and Twolmala, because Stajan actually went back to be enlisted as minor checker and Enkvist is still there. I want them both to be NHL ready. I'm going to play him in the AHL again. Trying, I just need to get him that little bit of extra growth, man. Just that little bit of extra growth. So we're trying that. So that's what our fourth line looks like. And again, we can mix and match. Got to have Jano in there to punch faces. He's starting to fall off a bit, but he's not there to play. He's there to punch faces. Plus, we're roll three lines. <laughs> Defensively, also a different look. Santabuari and Belica. Then Tucker and Dickinson. And then Barnaby and Lindstein. No chemistry for them. Looks like they could have a little bit but you know whatever Barnaby may get way too good for us <laughs> we'll have to see what happens with that uh power play Thomas Shirikov Misa Quincy Pelika again different look but is it actually yeah I think I don't know was Quincy here eh whatever um, me seditioning to Shirikov, Robert Thomas, uh, puck carrying. Now, you're gonna see someone also on this line. This is not a mistake. I am double shifting Pelika. I didn't want to not have him on the top unit, and I liked how our top unit's been the entire time. I didn't want to throw Darling up there necessarily. But I wanted, I wanted a shooting ability on the point with the net front. Because here's the thing, Varlamov does not have a, a shooting ability that works on the power play. So you gotta make say Pelika the finisher so that he just is ripping shots on net for Darling to tip in or screen or or, or what have you clean it up you know etc so forth so that's Kairu's dishing to Pelika Varlamov's going to be puck carrying we also threw in Twolmanen on the point now we get worse chemistry if I had Bolduc there it'd be a plus five but as this guy's list is second line I want to give him as much chance to succeed as possible uh, no one cares about the four-man penalty kill. I did make some changes. Dvorsky, Jano, we got to get him a bunch of ice time because he is demoralized right now. He's not a natural at 79. Uh, we won't be able to use him much longer, pretty much this year and next year. Uh, after that, he'll probably be unaffordable. But that's why we have those grinders, right? We're trying to get them up there. Uh, Santavari Tucker, the first shutdown. Second uh, unit, Thomas Darling. Bit of a counterattack unit right there, but still, you know, good defensively. Uh, Barnaby Dickinson. And the third one's going to be Bolduc and Tuomala with Belika and Lindstein. Dvorsky, Bolduc, and Thomas. 
Uh, extras, Thomas Shirikov, Pelika Santavori. I think the, yeah, the defensive pairings will be the same. Misa Varlamov, as five on five, I mean. And then Darling Kairu. So no Quincy, but again, we need to get Darling as much ice time as possible. So it should be the same forward pairings here for the three on three. And then it's Pelika, Tucker, and Dickinson on the back end. Extra attacker, Shirkov, Varlamov. The two Russian snipers. And we're going to always prioritize Varlamov over everyone else. Simply because he's got the leadership trait. Born leader as well. And yeah, he's got a letter. Misa, Varlamov, Shirikov, Pelika, and Kairu. I did kind of maneuver this around. They didn't have Shirikov in there, which is ridiculous. I don't care if he's only got 92 deking. His shot is ridiculous. So he's taking shots. Varlamov is pretty sick, too. He even switched he and Shirikov, man. Anyway, and then Pelika and Kairu, of course. Goalies, look what McGratton got. Some useless ones, but uh, also some good ones. He's got no timer. Dialed in Adventurer for some reason, handled it, and Showstopper. Those seem pretty good. I don't know how they affect the sim, dude. Goalies, goalies are voodoo. We all know this. Hope, watch him be absolute dog shit now. He's an elite goalie now. He was great. And then, yeah, he's, he's too good for the sim now. We'll see. De Depth-wise, Tucker, he's a little demoralized, I think, because now he's listed as top six out of nowhere. He's also falling off, so we may have to look for more suitable defensive depth. Martin is still great. So that's what we got. Give you a quick look at the AHL, even though you probably caught some of it earlier. I had to put Stenbody here because I wanted the two grinders together. Uh, we got some interesting scratches, such as a medium lead at 73 overall. He's trade bait. Obviously, Leanders. This Fitzgerald guy, low elite. We got better low elites, plus he's a playmaker. And then this Lutzer guy, again, another low elite, 70 overall. Like, they're all on pace, but pretty much everyone's a low elite and on pace. Like, we, we've built an exceptional team here. Oh, whoa. I don't like a negative. Hold on. <laughs> what? How's this neg? Oh, it's a power forward. That's why. <laughs> I, okay, I, I have not enough defensemen now. Whatever, dude. Uh, have fun. Just hit people. That's all you got to do. Bastion off Christensen. He did get up to a 77. Leanders is still a 78. He's also 25. I don't know, man. <laughs> the good news is... Christensen, 77 high starter. So there's your fucking backup. <laughs> Screw Vashing off and Leanders. There he is. Oh, man. So that is what we got going for us. Oh, just grabbing my phone because I want to check the possible extensions again. Pelika, did you reset and do a good price? No. Got to keep an eye on that because we don't want to lose him. Dickinson. Actually, kind of got worse unless I go shorter term, which does suck. I, I can't get him RFA no matter what. Three-year extension would make sense. Honestly, I might do that because, hey, we might move you if uh, Barnaby turns out to be better. Let's see what this price tag is. Six. High sixes for an 86. Hmm. It is theoretically affordable for us. High sixes, though, man. I think I wait. We obviously have to wait on uh, Pelika. And obviously not getting doshed all. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out and hopefully I actually remember to do that. <laughs> Sometimes I always say I'm going to do that and then I get to that element and go, fuck, I didn't look. <laughs> okay. Well, we're ready to go. I think, yeah. I got the lines. Yeah, we're all good. Um... 
I didn't switch goalies in the playoffs, did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. For some reason, my brain's telling me to check. So I'm gonna. I'm 100% I'm certain that I didn't have auto-rotate off, yeah? I don't know. My brain just told me to check. Let's see what happens. Let's get simming. Just keep simming. Just keep simming. All right. Do this first little month and a half, two months. What a weird trade. Okay, remove all this junk. So we're not going to be bothered. We know what we like. We know what we want. EA trade logic is terrible. And it's a great way to stay in shape. All right, so far so good in the preseason besides that game against Chicago. We put all our 70s in at that one. <laughs> good start on the regular season. Really good start. Are we going to have that thing where we fall down to earth and have a multi-game losing streak? There it is. Two games. I don't know. <laughs> loss with a point. Right, regulation loss. We answered right back. Shano, mild concussion. Uh-oh. Take care of yourself, buddy. Punch less faces. This is what you got Martin for. Woo! Tough loss against San Jose. They still got our number, I guess. From the Ploffs. The cup champion San Jose Sharks. See, I'd be so much, that would sound so much cooler if I wasn't a video game and I wasn't getting beaten by them. <laughs> I did see Kyrie's down to a 86. I don't think he was actually out. Uh, Shirakov mild concussion. That's a bit rough. I could have just replaced player. But I, I, it might uh, mess up my power play lines. Even though, no, he's not on the point. It should be fine. Yeah, he probably is on the four man. Because no one cur about the four man. There he is. That's pretty much what I would do for the four man. Look at that. <laughs> All right, we're about to the end. Multiple players. Who else was injured? Yeah, it's just Shirkov. What are you talking about? Uh, someone must have had a minor injury. When Shirkov goes back in, how have you done so far, by the way? Martin, two goals in five games. Not bad. And we should be about done with the first little bit. We are 16, 5, and 2. Pretty, pretty good inconsistencies at times, goaltending-wise or defensive-wise. But maybe it's a higher scoring year. Point is, we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you give him the ice time, he delivers. Imagine, I was thinking, still playing him on the third line as a 90. Okay. We're in second in the division. Four, 17 goals for... Two, eight, seven goals against. Okay, I thought it would be a little bit worse, honestly. That's pretty good. 23.1 power play. That's a dip from last season. That's a big increase, though. Bush did it. And 7-4-1 and one on the road. Got to improve on that front. But that's a lot of go good goal scoring. I like that. And you're gonna love me. Okay. Um, 30 points for Quincy. 25 for Darling. Third liner. Twolmanen. Okay, you get again, you give him <laughs> Jesus. Varlamov 23 points, Bolduc 22, Misa 22, Thomas 21, Kyrie 20. Shirkov only 18 14 goals though. Let's let's call <laughs> I don't care if he only has 18 points, he have 14 fucking goals in 21 games. The uh, big drop off, fourth line, whatever. Yeah, kind of whatever. What the hell you haven't fought yet, Jano? So he didn't even get concussed in that fight. In a fight. Huh. Defensively, Pelika with 20 points in 23 games played. Five of those on the power play. Zero pims. What a fucking beast. Give him the Lady Bing as well. Uh, Decent-ish, yeah. Uh, top six, we'll see. That's a lot of pims there, Barnaby. I hope you fight. 
I know you're a DFD and all, but I really hope you fight. I knew it. Only a 903. 890 for Doshtal. I mean, at least he's getting the points I want out of him. The records are really good. It's actually probably better that they start off slow, because if they have a better end of the season, then it means they go into the playoffs, huh? Who knows? Do we have a Rook? Yeah, Barnaby and Mark. <laughs> no one, no one noteworthy. Well, it's an interesting start. I wasn't quite expecting this distribution of points, but I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. When you look at the sheer amount of great scoring that we have, like, look at what the top nine is. It's absolutely unreal what the top nine is producing. That's three deadly lines. Oof, okay. I like it. Speaking of which, I want to remember, because I, I know Quincy was an elite steal. I just want to know, I'm trying to remember when, third rounder, 88th overall pick, and now look at him. Look at that man. So he would have been in, in, in the 50s overall, maybe even 40s. Can anyone remember? Like, what, that's, that, this might be the best growth I've ever had out of a medium elite steal, considering all the gained X factors too. Fucking ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. Okay. Things are going well. Uh, I almost did it. I almost did it. I want to check. I want to check because these are important pieces. Especially Pelika. I don't think he'll ever win a Norris because the three amigos. Makar, Hughes, and... Please be lower. Okay, you know what? I'm going for this. I'm going for this. The way the way we're utilizing him, 88 overall, I'm going for this. Yeah, it's high eights, but pff, for a top two who's going to be quarterbacking both power play units, at least this year. 8.775 is really good for eight years. Boom. Lock it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to rush it. Hey, at least Dickinson. Maybe that means Dickinson's price tag will be better now. Yes. Yes, you know what? This is much better. Yeah, this is this is now low... Oops, low sixes. Sorry, I just banged my desk with my controller as I was trying to get it back up. This will be 625. This is... Yeah, I would do this. I would 100% do this. Boom, lock it in. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as they extend, let's advance a couple days, and hopefully they don't change their asking price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got everyone done. We won that game against Florida. We got Dickinson. <sighs> he changed his ask. Fuck! I hate when they do that. And now he doesn't want the extension. Oh, boy. Well, you were listed as... I hate when it does that. Damn. I really thought we were about to get a steal. It's in the 10s now. Again, we didn't have the 10 guy. And he is a UFA. We do have to sign him. Hmm. That sucks. I really, really thought we were about to get the a six deal. Again, we can afford it. Look at Quincy making six. He'll be our only guy at 10 million. But, yeah. He wasn't our draft pick. We got him. You know, this is him entering his prime. He wants to get paid. Darling, oh my god. Well, Darling's gonna need money. <sighs> At least, yeah, we had an RFA. This is going to be tough. Well, Doshtal gets shed. we just do it. <sighs> I could do less years. It goes down a lot if I only do six. That'll line him up with Varlamov and company, too. Yeah, let, let's save a little bit of money and do six. 
Now, be, even though it says no, he doesn't want an extension, that, that literally doesn't matter. Yeah, so this is actually under 10 if I only do 6. So, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Uh, 825. 9.825. Yep. Yeah. We'll do that. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just a point of pride for me to try to have everyone under 10. <laughs> but hey, man, that's what we do. Team friendly deals. I got elected to state government and, and uh, got rid of state tax. So now we have the same advantage as Florida, Texas, and Nevada. Get fucked. Yes, it is an advantage. Don't tell me otherwise. Okay, um, let's keep her moving. Well, let's actually get them signed. Let's be honest. Or him signed. Mr. Holdout. Mr. You're definitely worth it. And I'm a very cheesy franchise mode guy sometimes. <laughs> 11 to 1 win. Please sign. Get out of here, Olofsson. Oh, did they actually fix the no, I'm not interested, but... Because it used to be that didn't matter. Does it matter now? Oh my god. No, he keeps it keeps going up in price. What the Oh, he's just changing his mind all the time right now. He's not staying stagnant. That really is bad. I'm going to let it settle down a bit. I'm going to go all the way to the deadline. Let him chill. We have to pay a bunch of money for like one or two years. We'll do that. But yeah, a little rough right now. I mean, god damn, look at this team. We are a dominant force. I don't think he was actually out. <laughs> I don't remember after doing the replace play. Oh my god, two losses in a row. We're getting to the deadline. We're too good. Game says, no, 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 no. Slow down there, chief. You're not allowed to break any records. Ooh, fractured jaw for Sam Dickinson. Put a cage on, you wimp. Get out there. We'll throw Tucker in. Are you sure there's no chemistry there, game? Are you, are you positive? That should at least be a plus one. Yeah, get out of here. Tuckers are playing together, baby. Yeah, we don't care. We're auto-scouting everything. Oh, God. We have no defensemen here. So another forward. We got two forwards on the back end, baby. That's how we roll. Put the two-way in. I like how that actually stays at zero chemistry. Ah, maybe it doesn't. Because the game sucks and it's all glitched. Oh, he wasn't even out for that long. There you go, Dickinson. Back in you go. Alright, you know what? Pause at the All-Star break. We'll get Pelika drunk at the All-Star game, and then... <laughs> Fucking hell! It just keeps going up, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Bad. <laughs> oh, we, we, we spent a lot on that guy. It would kind of suck to lose him for free. <sighs> it would really suck to lose him for free. Let's go up to the deadline. Par uh, clearly he is drunk. He's asking for 15 million. <laughs> oh my god. All right, after the All-Star, yeah, let's get up to the deadline. Let's tell his ass he may get traded. Let's see if you go on. You want to be on this team? We'll send you to the worst fucking team, dickbag. Was that the guy I put in on the defense? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? All right, hopefully you're back. Mr. Skilly is not back. Okay, fucking throw a playmaker in. Who cares? It's the AHL. <laughs> Yo, it actually let us have a real good record. 
It, it did throw some, chuck some losses in there, but it also let us have a really good record. 45, 13, and 3. And Shirk, 47 goals in 59 games for Shirikov, 63 points. He's our leading point guy. We don't have a dominant person. We just have a dominant team. We are 10 points ahead of anyone else. Oh, God. Look at that Pacific Division. But there's the Sharks. Oh, God. Here, here comes the President's Trophy curse again, though. Oh, come on. 0.01 too much. 421 blaze it. Goals four per game, 275 goals against. That's been pretty consistent all year around that mark. 26.6 power play, penalty kill 87.9. Is that too good heading into the playoffs? Is it going to tank? I'm worried. 25, 4, and 2 on home ice, 29 and 1 on the road, 7, 3, and 0 oh in the last 10. Let's see how we're stacking up against the league. I'm pretty sure we're leading in all categories. Oh, yeah. Goals for leading. Goals against leading. Power play? Oh, second place behind Chicago. Penalty kill? Leading! Oh my god! Get ready for a first round exit, everyone. We are way too good. Let's check out the production now. Shirkov, 63 points, 47 goals. Quincy, 63. Hybrid production. Interesting. Darling, 62 points, 32 goals. Apparently, he really likes the third line. Varlamov, point per game, 28 goals. Thomas, 60 points. Oh my god, 59 for Tolmanen. 48 for Kairou. Misa, only 55. What a scrub. Boldig with 44. No real power play time. That's a, that's a sub right there. And fourth line. Pelika. 55 points, 61 games played. You're not going to win the Norris, buddy. What are you asking for all this money for? Good defensive core, though. That's better. McGratton. Doge Stahl, yeah, he, he's, he's done. He's ready to leave, but he's a great, great insurance policy for the playoffs this year. McGratton is the guy, seemingly. All right. So here we are at the deadline. Pelika, you want to play? You want you want to be on a good team? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like his his asking price legit keeps going up. This guy get, needs to get fucked, dude. <laughs> this is not this is not the attitude of a Finn, dude. This is this is how you know it's a video game. Axel Sandin, actually, okay, uh, no wonder, he's fucking Swedish, he's got a Finnish name, but he's Swedish. They got that, they got that Eurovision win attitude going on. Not the happiest country on earth, though. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Well, that is... Yeah, I got a lot to decide. Trade-wise? <laughs> I was going to be like, all right, well, you know, we could do that thing with Tolman and again. Do I want to move him? Good God. Everything is just clicking. Fourth line, you can make the argument of like, eh, it could be better. <laughs> I, I I don't know, man. Like it all it all looks really good. I don't know what I would change. We loaded up, went all in last season. This season doesn't feel like it would be. Yeah, he's losing X factors. He'll gain them back after the season's over, as long as he had, has a good enough year. But he's on pace too, or he might gain some back. He might not. On his like, he might be done. <laughs> but he's been he's been hanging on mainly through stat growth, which is why I continue to play him on the top line. So we'll see what happens with that, but I don't know what we do. I don't think I would do anything. Because here's the thing, if I look, <laughs> uh, I'm probably hear someone say, oh, hey, you got to get the, like, uh, you put Kairu on that third line 
and get an even better playmaker for the first. I don't know, man. It doesn't sit right to me to move Kairu off, but if we're trying to win, maybe that is the ticket. What if we have just three stacked lines and then lose first round? Um, but we could do that. That's that's an option of finally being like, okay, Kairu, you take the step back now. And we look for the big, big gun. That is an option. I'm not going to pull the trigger unless it kicks ass. Yeah, we don't have a Kairu extension, do we? Kind of, if this is the way we're trending, I kind of want Kairu to continue to play on my third line, at least for one more year. He wants an extension because he's a fucking team player. Oh, God damn. All right, maybe not. <laughs> I can't I can't do that right now. Not when we're trying to sign Pelika as well. He was being a little shit right now. I'm not signing him to that. I'm just simply not. I know I could do it for a year and then try to reassess from there, but that eats up so much of our cap. You gotta think, if we get Kyra back, that's you know, six to seven, twenty-two mil. That eats up the rest of pretty much the rest of your money. Lindstein's gone, we've Accepted that, Tuomala. Eh, I mean... We could get away with it, but I'd rather lock him into a better deal. We'll see what we have to do. We'll even check in, you know, in the RFA stage. But that's when it gets dangerous if he doesn't want the deal. So we're hoping that he changes his mind at some point. Very, very unfortunate that he... He did that thing where it showed me one thing, but he was just constantly changing his asking price. Ah. Well, you guys let me know what you think I should do with the deadline. We could also just stand pat. But, uh, okay, I'll give you guys a quick look. <laughs> Since I mentioned it, you guys are probably like, well, who are the playmakers? Okay. I know you. we saw some last year, though. Calm down. Um... Probably just a rental again. You know what? I want a zone ability. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. One or more. You have to, like, choose a specific one. That's dumb. Um, I'll go max two years just to see if there's any. Hello, Mitch. I don't like that two years. Oh, my God, McDavid. So those are available. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> It's not happening. <laughs> Fuck. Eichel is extended. Houston's extended. Benson. Interesting. Fits into our fourth line, though. <laughs> Uh, James, couple years left, young guy. Damn, he's, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want a young guy. Potra's a playmaker? Okay. Nylander. But he's in the same boat as, uh, eh, I don't know, man. All gold tape to tape, though. Oh, gold tape to tape, though. Oh, yeah, he's extended. Frick. It's not a bad deal, but I like to negotiate my own extensions. Yeah. We got Seppin in here. Who's meh? We need the X-Factors. Leo Carls. I don't know, man. Nothing, nothing is jumping off the page to me. Who aren't obviously like extended. The only reason Eichel might make sense because that's a shorter extension. Is he still in Vegas? Yeah. He's not a great center and he's a right handed shot. So he would kind of make sense. Do we Vegas, Vegas? <laughs> it's very obtainable. 
and then there's McJesus, of course. <laughs> yo, no, yo, <laughs> I know. <laughs> No, it's not highlight, but like a generational oiler going to the blues. <laughs> oh, honestly, Marner would make the most sense if we were to grab. Because, yeah, oh, for one, he fits on the line. For two, he's a right winger. There's no fucking way they want to give him Marner, though. They're in a good spot. Actually, they're not in a great spot. We'd have to go crazy. I mean, there's possibilities. We did say we're gonna go crazy all in pretty much every single time. All right, you guys, let me know. I'm getting some wild ideas over here. All right, guys, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.